Go check out buycheapfifacoins.com to get the best cheap coins around on the market. Use the discount code ROSSI for an extra discount off your coins. It's a fully automated service. You get your coins instantly. What more could you ask for? Now let's roll on to today's video. Hello guys, Mr. Ross1990 here, and this is episode number two of the Diamond Effect Season 2, Team of the Season edition. Basically, if you missed the first episode on this, I did a Liverpool Diamond Effect. It has returned for the time being. Um, it's going to run alongside the random hybrid, so I'm going to do both the series side by side. And uh, what it is, if you don't know what it is, it's basically I pick four players from the same team. Today's is going to be Sevilla, or um, Se Sevilla, whatever you want to call them. Um, basically, you just put them in this little diamond up the top there. A lot of people say it isn't a diamond. Technically, it's not. But um, technically it is at the same time. I mean, the diamond's an odd kind of shape, isn't it? But, you know, back in primary school, that's pretty much a diamond right there, isn't it? You've got the, it's almost like two triangles squished together, isn't it? So that is what I mean by the diamond effect. It used to be a lot better in FIFA 13, um, but the formations in this one are a little bit difficult. You can't really do it with the 4 5 one because the centre mid itself linked with too many players and you wouldn't get enough chemistry from it. But Sevilla today is going to be our chosen one. The reason for that being is because somebody suggested it in the comments below and another reason is because I've actually got a really good player from them which i packed, which is actually going to be this guy right here, Ivan Rakatic, and he's going to sit in that centre cam role. As you can see, he played five games overall for me, scoring five goals, one assist. He's amazing. He honestly is absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried this card yet, he's not epically expensive at the moment anyway. I think he's like less than 100k. For an 88 team of the season, that's, you know, that's decent. It's not difficult to get 100k uh, these days if you play a lot of games or you're just, you know, good at trading or you're lucky in packs. 100k is, is not a lot, to be honest, these days. Um, one here is, a, is an iffy one. As you can see, I've only played one game of him in camp. Basically, what I did, you'll probably see on my reserves, I've got Marine and Gamero. I played one game of each of these in cam to see which one I liked best and believe it or not it was actually Mbia who I enjoyed the most out of the three. Mariam was decent, he was quite tricky with his skill moves but he was getting muscled out, he wasn't exactly quick and it was quite annoying. Gamero obviously wants to be a striker, uh, I did convert him down to cam but um, he, was, he wasn't great in cam but Mbia was, was decent, he had good strength, he was muscling people out of the way, you know he's not he's not a cam, let's, let's, let's not beat around the bush, he's more of a cent uh, defensive mid, centre mid kind of player uh, but I did play him in cam with Hunter Chemistry style on him, he was decent, like I said he got the ball down the wing. Um, his pace is, his pace was alright actually, 78 and it felt a lot quicker than that, but his shooting obviously wasn't great, two star skills, he was a little bit annoying, but um, you know, I decided to go with them, and this guy right here, amazing, it's one of the, oh he's so good for a silver, 5.9k pay for him, with a hunter chemistry style, so he's got a 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, which is brilliant, he's almost identical in my opinion to Julian Draxler, he's like a silver version of Draxler, he scored 2 goals, 2 assists in the 3 games we played with this diamond, and then the striker we went for is actually going to be team of the season backer, who, he was okay actually, Actually, he, he took up, he took one or two, um, you know, like a half or something to get used to him. And uh, it's basically because he's quite short. He's 5'11". He, he feels like a little bulldog. He's almost like a... Te he rem exactly reminds me of Tevez, actually. Very similar style of player, in my opinion. But he's got two-star skills, two-star weak foot. You couldn't do a roulette or nothing, so you basically just have to try and run through and use his strength. But um, I like a roulette. I like to be able to do a roulette or a chop or something, but he's very difficult with the skill moves. Very limited to what he could do. But still managed to pick up two goals and three assists in the three games, which is pretty impressive. He's a discard in form. Team of season as well. 13k. I bought him with a Hunter Chemistry on him as well. So 13,500 with a Hunter Chemistry style is ridiculously a uh, good price in my opinion. But that is the one we went with. Like I said, you could have chucked Gamero in Cam over here to uh, make it better or make it like the highest rated one. But then again, you could have chucked Marion over here to make it the highest rated. That's the highest rated one you could probably do. But the one I went for is because I like Trav Golovsky. We'll put him in there and a beer there. It's going to do it. There we go. That's the diamond I ended up with. In my opinion, the best one out of the lot. And then in the comments guys suggest the next team you want me to use uh, could be anybody we've only done Liverpool and Sevilla so far just anybody in particular you'd like to see me use then make sure to leave it in the comments section below leave a like on this episode if you are enjoying this series I really do appreciate every single like and every bit of feedback you give me uh, really do appreciate that but the random hybrid will also be out later for you guys today but we're going to go run through the free games with this team now in just one second so I'll see you then Okay, so going into the clips now, as you can see, the first opponent we come up against is this guy here who has a pretty standard BPL team. Lukaku in cam is a little bit of a strange one in my opinion, more of a striker than a cam obviously, but you know, no real amazing, amazing players. It's quite a cheap one actually, he's called Cheap, his team is called Cheap. So, um, you know, he obviously knows what he's doing and this is this is the OP Premier League team and you always have, pro oh, well, I, me especially, has problems coming up against these types of teams, but um, we go into the game. Expecting to win with the team we have. We start quite early here with Backer whipping in the cross and Trouble Lubovsky, whatever you want to call him, gets the goal there. It's you know it's a sweaty goal, it's a horrible looking goal in my opinion. But um this guy was frustrating to play against. He was very defensive and he was actually K 
kept on like again i've had a few of these games recently where he starts playing and one minute he stops playing like you see actually think he might have stopped playing there for a brief second where i nick the ball back and whip it in but you know i'm gonna take advantage of that if he's not playing he was playing from kickoff so it's a little bit of a strange one we do get another chance here a little bit of work down the wing uh, or down the middle actually alarm i think that is gets him behind a good strike and it comes out and then there he is again Chorovsky. i have no idea how to say his name so i do apologize um he's there to get the goal on the edge of the box the poacher instinct in him i guess he's, he is honestly very very good he can mix it up with the best of them he's very good against gold teams you know he's a silver who um he's probably one of the best silvers in the game in my opinion but then we do actually have some horrible pieces of defending here i don't even know why he decided to attempt to slide for that that really irritated me because i think i pressed the button which is fair enough so technically yeah he, he could go and slide for it but i thought why why which i didn't press x to slide i think i may have pressed b to um, pressure him or something along those lines, but um, it didn't didn't the Beijing see? He kind of looks like he stopped playing here again, but then he starts playing one second. We do over top through ball. That's a really nice one. I think it's like outside of his left foot, might be outside of his right foot. Uh, back is in behind. That's the type of goals he's going to score. He's very like um, I say, he's very similar to Tevez. He really is. He can get in behind players. He's got good strength. It feels like in game anyway, and uh, he can score a goal for sure. But he didn't have epic pace, and he struggled to get in behind quite a lot. But, um, you know, that's what it is. And again, you can see it looks like he stopped playing. So I thought, why the hell not to have a little run with Rakitic? It looked like he started playing again then, and he stopped playing, he started playing. It was really confusing, but I think Rakitic had that in the bag anyway, and it's a cracking finish from him. Two points, I do believe that's 4-1 up in this game. Now, Rakitic is honestly uh, a godlike cam. He is so good at everything. He's got good pace, good dribbling, good shooting, good everything. I think he's only got three-star skill moves, which is a little thing with like alarm there, giving it the freaking fingers up to say we've won 4-1, and it's a very comfortable performance from us, really. Trofsky picking up two, Backer getting one, and um, Rakitic getting the other. So, as you can see, Mbia didn't score in his first game, and then we changed it over to, I, be I believe it's Gaimero playing in this game right here. But um, it's a Brazilian team. It's a pretty good one, actually. It's got Neymar, Joe Silva, Danny Alves, Hulk, William. It's actually a really, really good one. Ronaldinho in there as well. Obviously, he wanted some skillers in there, but it's a very impressive Brazil team, to be honest. There's no, got, you know, no informs or anything, just a standard Brazil team, but it's got better players in each position. It's not like the, the you know, the less... Um, expensive ones but to be fair they are quite cheap now but you know when the game started but we do get in behind here uh, I think it's Rakitic again running through look at this just, it just got so good such good close control uh, it keeps it quite close to him unless you don't want it to be close you can zip it in front of him and uh, he can score goals he can definitely score goals he can get in behind defenders very very easily and uh, he does pick up a number of goals in that it's almost like in behind the striker position in cam um, I don't know what he'd be like in a 3-5-2 I might have to try him in there but he is so impressive he was really really impressive to me I really found it very good and I'm quite happy to have packed him to be honest he's going to stay in my club hopefully but we do concede the goal here quite a nice little bit of work plays a lovely ball through and I think that's Ramirez running in behind and uh, it's a pretty simple finish but it's a good, it's a good build up goal so you know fair play to him that's a decent finish uh, defensively that wasn't great for me either but then look at this what the fuck I keep doing that for some reason I'm skipping the replay I need to stop doing it and I've passed it right to him from, kick, from, from a goal kick. I mean, that is embarrassing. But um, I keep doing that. Luckily, sometimes they're not standing there. But look, how stupid is that? All I'm doing is just pressing A to skip the replay. It's like from a corner as well. I don't know if you guys get it as well. Nice little goal coming up here as well. Actually, quite poor for my goalkeeper. But um, it's a good finish. But like, I go to press A to skip a replay. And you've obviously pressed it like the exact time they've already skipped. And you just end up passing a corner or something. It's so annoying. I don't know if you guys um, get that as well. It's only on next gen, really, I ever find it. I don't think it's on the current... Uh, you know, Xbox, and that's a really nice finish there, by the way, from Backer. Nice little chip over the top. We're actually 3-2 down in this game currently. We were 3-1 down, obviously, before that goal goes in. I thought that's a really nice finish. I didn't think he had the, enough in him to take another touch and have a shot support. Right, I'm just hitting this first time, and uh, I was quite happy to see that go in, to be honest, because a number of times you see that go wide or, like, a piddle shot. That's a decent effort into the near post to score the goal. And we do get another chance here. We do get in quite, quite nicely in behind, and again, look who's running through. It is Paul Pogba running through at pace, and he slots that one in quite nicely. He's always going to sort of score them types of goals. Playing a CDM though, I don't understand. I mean, I like the fact that he's running up through, but I don't understand why him and Larm seem to be most my most advanced players. And sometimes they're almost playing as wingers, but they're actually CDM. So it's quite it's good and bad at the same time because they're quite often out of position, but then they can get into position to score the goal. So that was actually how that one ended because he ended it as a draw, unfortunately. So it ended free all. That's okay. You know, he was he should have won the game to be honest. I think actually we didn't we didn't play amazing. But um, we go in this game. I, I think we may have put Marion back in for this game. I did show Gamero there, but I do believe we put Marion back in for this game. And um, it's come up against a Syria in a false nine. You know, it's, again, it's, it's quite a cheap one, to be honest. He's got some non-chines in there. He's got Jovino, who's obviously a really good player. He's got Florenzi. He's got Palacio. Mykon's in there. Benashia's in there. You know, it's a, it's a really good team. But this game, this game 
took an age for me to manage to score. You'll see it in the highlights right now. We're actually going to start off with a peculiar way to start the game. Well, it's not going to start the game, start the highlights. It's actually him getting a red card. He comes in really heavy on the back of Backer there, and uh, he will get a red card. That's like in the 100th minute. I mean, it took so long for me to score in this game. He was very good defensively. I think we were very, like, um, even in the game. But, um, yeah, we actually do manage to score quite luckily here. We get a throw in, cheap throw in. Uh, we get, you know, keep it alive a little bit here. Pass it through. We are going to chip one over the top again. And uh, I do believe it's Rakitic once more running in behind. And he chips the goalkeeper quite nicely. And, you know, that's like really late on in the game. So I was very happy to see that go in. I could see that game ended 0-0. Yeah, it technically did end 0-0 in normal time. But this guy did want to play extra time and penalties. Obviously felt like, you know, he may have nicked it in extra time or took the penalties and won the game. Which, you know, he probably could have done because I'm really bad at penalties. We do get another chance here. And we're going to get another goal. Spoiler alert. But we run it down the wing. Unfortunately, this is going to be a sweaty goal. But uh, it was down the wing anyway. So I thought Soda, I'll whip it in. And I think that's Ra I think that's Rakitic again. I'm not quite sure. My screen is very blurry. But I do believe that's Rakitic again. Getting on the score sheet with a header, which I didn't expect from him. I didn't expect him to score many headers. I don't know how tall he is, to be precise. But, you know, it's a good header, to be fair. Gets above his man and scores a goal to make it 2-0 to us. And that is the way that one finished. And that is actually going to be the end of this video. So we, we, t we won two games and we drew one. You know, that isn't a bad ratio, to be fair. I'll give you a quick rundown of the actual diamond. Now, today's question is going to be, what would your diamond be? What I mean by that was, what would your perfect diamond be? Write it in the comment section below. You don't have to play for the same team. Just pick a striker and three cams. Who would be your perfect three in there? They don't have to get full chemistry together. Just like a perfect you know, free cams and a striker. Let me know in the comment section below. The cost of the diamond is around 115k, depending on, you know, that's 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 based on foothead, by the way. I'm getting these um, statistics from foothead. So about 115k, you know, obviously price will go up and down when you're seeing this video, maybe down the line. It might be completely different. The best player was Rakitic, for sure. Very good player. Uh, got him in a pack, so he's free to me. or kind of free. It cost me a, a, you know, a fair few coins to open packs, though. And I'm giving the overall rating an 8 out of 10. Basically, 8 out of 10. You know, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good solid performance, but it was lacking something. Like the Liverpool one yesterday, I think we gave that one a 9 out of 10. That had a little bit more spark to it. There was a lot more, obviously Suarez was, you know, absolutely intense. But um, Rakitic was very impressive. The fact that, you know, Mbia, uh, I had to choose between one of three, and I went with Mbia, but Baka was, was good. I did, I, you know, I really did enjoy this team. 8 out of 10 is a strong, strong score. They'll be a lot lower than that. So it's a very high, you know, we started off with two decent ones already. And let me know in the comment section below, by the way, who would you like to see in the next episode? Tempted are down the line. I will go for Real Madrid, but I haven't got the coins currently to do that. And I'm tempted to play Ronaldo as a striker on seven or six chemistry because I've been told good things about him um, being a 99 as a striker or something like that, which is quite good for a left winger. So hopefully I might get down that one when it comes to it down the line. Team of the year, Ronaldo, if I can get the coins or I can borrow from somebody. But who would you like ideally to see in the next episode? I've heard Chelsea being mentioned quite a lot. Who would you have in your Chelsea one? You know, if you could go down anyone, PSG, we could try and get an Ibra. We could have like Man match Cavani. It could be quite a nice, interesting one for you guys there so let me know in the comment section below you'd like to see me use also smash the like button on this video if we can get a thousand likes aim for aim high always aim high a thousand likes would be absolutely amazing if we don't make it not a big deal but i you know like to aim high but if you subscribe if you're new as well the random hybrid who will be out later and we're going to be using zarate in the random hybrid so if you do enjoy that series make sure to look out for that one it'll probably be around 7 30 tonight these videos will be coming out at about 4 30 right it in your calendars guys Diamond Effect 4.30, Random Harbour 7.30 on a weekday, and then weekends it changes up a little bit more because, uh, you know, people are awake and don't have school and work, etc. Well, most of us don't. I have bloody work. But that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Have a nice day. See you again soon. Um, Bye-bye. Tits and balls.